Sometimes when you're participating in DeFi, buying and selling NFTs, your Cardano wallet could get a little busy. That is, you've done so many transactions on there, you're holding so many different NFTs and fungible tokens that it becomes quite expensive to use. And sometimes you even come up with errors on the various dApps that you're using. Now, there is a tool that will help you unfrack it, and it's called Unfrack It, and it's a really cool tool that Adam Dean has brought out. Uh, there's a couple of tweets about this, and you can find it on his uh, Twitter account, Adam K. Dean, uh, but it's a brilliant little tool that will allow you to clean up your wallet, uh, combine various UTXOs or parts of your wallet together, so that way you can have cheaper transactions and less possible errors when interacting with all these dApps on Cardano. So let me take you through exactly how this all works. So if you go to the website Unfrack It, so unfrack.it, you'll be able to find the application itself. All you need to do is connect your wallet. In this case, I'll connect my NAMI wallet and it'll allow you to change a whole bunch of configurations on the DAP so that you can clean up your wallet in multiple different ways. Now, some of these default settings are pretty good from what I've experienced so far. So I'm gonna keep the bundle size here to 30. And then change a couple of these based on what and how you're using your wallet. So here, first one here, isolate fungible tokens. So fungible tokens relate to tokens that you might be trading on Cardano, such as Hosky or World Mobile Token, for example. And if you group them all together in one UTXO or one part of your wallet, anytime you're interacting with a DEX or a DAP that uses those particular tokens, it's only looking at that one particular part of your wallet. And because of that, it's using less fees and less resources to make that transaction. And overall, you get to save on your transaction when interacting with that dApp. So this is a really good option to tick if you're trading a lot of different tokens. Now this one here is the same, but for non-fungible tokens. So this is for NFTs. And grouping those NFTs together, the same type of NFTs together, will possibly help decrease the fees when interacting with different marketplaces. Now, if we look at some of these other ones here, so this is subdividing ADA only to different UTXOs or other parts of your wallet. So now if there are any values of ADA in your wallet greater than 100, it will split that up and create the different parts of your wallet to allow different dApps to interact with it. So that way, when you're sending ADA or sending something else in transaction, it can pick and choose which parts of your wallet to use so that your overall transaction is smaller again. Again, reducing those fees that come out when using these various dApps. And this option here, the last one roll up, this is the opposite to that. So it will combine all the ADA that's left over into your various UTXOs and rebalances out your wallets. So at the moment, I'm experimenting with all these different options and I'm gonna go down a little bit further here. And this is where you can actually check what's in your wallet and how it all operates. So at the moment, I've connected my wallet and I can see here that I've got uh, my just under 600 ADA, four token policies with 20 tokens in overall. So I'm just going to click here to unfrack my wallet. I can give the team a little tip here as well. So I give them a little one ADA tip and then click on unfrack. So then I just sign the transaction and I'll let that go. So that's all I need to do to unfrack my wallet. I can watch the confirmations come here and I can check my wallet again to see how many UTXOs or how many parts of my wallet have been created or has that been decreased to help optimize my wallet in general. So it's a great little tool brought out by Adam and the Drip Drops team here where you can now save a little bit of extra ADA in all of those various transactions that you make by optimizing that wallet. Now, the really cool thing about this is that it is a completely decentralized dApp. All the code that is necessary for this is in the GitHub repo. So if you're inclined to and understand how to actually uh, download the code and run it on your own server or even on your own machine, if you have your development environment set up, you can do so and run the dApp 100% locally on your machine, which means this may very well be Cardano's first completely decentralized dApp. 
that is a really cool little milestone. All the other dApps out there, such as MinSwap or whatever, you do need to run it with their front end interface, which means you have to go to their website. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. So with dApps like this, it is completely decentralized and anyone can use it wherever they want, however they want. So great little app there from Adam. Thank you so much for building that. I'm looking forward to cleaning up my wallets, optimizing them and reducing my fees. If you found this content useful, please consider giving me a thumbs up, click subscribe, click the notification bell. I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, yeah, gotta do it like that. You've been listening to the Learn Cardano.